Hey guys, Becky here with Design Bundles and I'm really excited today to bring you a really great tutorial in Cricut Design Space. Now, this is definitely one you don't wanna miss. It makes really great projects for yourself and it makes even better gifts. So what are we talking about? We are filling text with our very own photos. Let's get started. All right guys, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and I'm really excited to show you how to work with photos and make your own photo text. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type out the letters that I'm gonna use. In this case, I'm gonna use mom because of course these types of projects, I mean, what mom doesn't love photo projects, right? Now I need to make sure that I am using a font that is good for commercial use. And of course that's where my font bundles fonts come in with, right? And I also try to choose a thick font, all right? It needs to be a font that I'm gonna be able to fit a decent amount of um, the photo into, right? So I'm going to go ahead and make my letters rather large. Now, I mean, that's relative. We're looking at just over 11 inches. But for my line type, I'm going to use score. And that will make sure that my letters are transparent. So now I'm going to go to upload. Now I have, I'm not gonna lie, I've done this project uh, quite a few times. I really enjoy it and I enjoy um, showing everybody. But so I already have some photos that I can use. And I'm just going to click these. What I really like about Design Space is that I can select them all at one time. So then I'm just going to choose insert images. And then I want to select my text and I'm gonna use my arrange to send to front because I want all my photos to be behind my text. Then of course I can start sizing them down because obviously I don't, I mean, you might depending on uh, what letters you're, you're using, but I'm just gonna start sizing them down because I don't need them that large. and I can go ahead and start positioning them. Now I have two boys and a girl, so that makes it um, easy and hard at the same time. <laughs> now I am trying to go ahead and sort through them as I go through. Um, I'm going to do a boy on each side. So I just wanna arrange them and I can um, enlarge them until they fill the area that I'm working with, right? You do have to try not to grab a hold of those letters. Don't forget, if you have a hard time maneuvering your photos, you can come over here and click on them to select them and start moving them around, okay? And I know it looks like I'm overlapping a lot of these photos, but I promise that it will make more sense once we kind of get everything positioned. All right, so I know that that felt like it took a really long time and it can be very tedious, but once you have them all selected, you can go through and start slicing. Okay, so once you do that, you can start deleting the pieces that you don't need. And can you see how that's gonna start giving you your outline? So I can go ahead and start arranging as I go. Sometimes you do have to go through and make sure that you're only selecting, that you're only selecting two things for your slice. All right, so once we have everything um, cropped down, sliced down, all of these dotted lines can go. We don't actually need those. They were just tools to help us um, slice down and shape our photos. I know that took a little while, so I'm glad you guys stuck through it. We get all those deleted, and then we have all these nice clean images. It looks like I did move this one a little bit, so that'll be up to me if I want to go through and um, try to realign that. I might zoom in and do that. Um, but I also want to pay attention to the order for all of my pictures. So basically what I'm gonna wanna do is I'll go through and I can click on these and I can use my arrange menu 
to bring to front or send to back. And again, if I have a hard time um, getting to anything, then I can click on that photo over here. All right, and I can just go through and make sure that everything is just arranged the way that I want it to be. Okay, so once I'm done, I'm going to select all this. I mean, you could you could play with it for days. You know, if you're uh, just the least bit, uh, we'll say a perfectionist, I, I don't consider myself one, but if you are, you could play with these for days. But you're going to select these and you're going to choose flatten. And what that's going to do is see it puts them all in one so that when you click over to make it, I am going to have to size it down because it's, it's going to pick this up as a print and cut. But there we go. And what that's going to do is it will bring it over and I will be able to uh, do this as a print and cut on vinyl or cardstock. Um, in particular, I'm going to use this um, with a printable iron on transfer. So that will be part two of the video. I will show you how to do that on your Cricut and we will um, either put it on a t-shirt or a tote bag. I haven't decided yet, but one or the other, we will continue this project. So keep an eye out for that video. That's my little, my little cliffhanger for this project. Here you learn how to do the photos. Then we're going to learn how to work with the printable iron on material. So guys, how do you feel about filling our text with photos? Now I know it's a little bit tedious to go through and get them all arranged and get them all sliced. Trust me, I'm right there with you, but the reward at the end is oh so worth it. It's so worth it. It's a great project and don't forget we do have part two coming, okay? That's what you're really here to see. So we will make sure to put that out there swiftly so that you guys can uh, follow up with that and create your own projects. So now, of course, what I need you to do is to give us a little a like, subscribe and share, right? That's going to help us keep growing the channel and keep bringing you really awesome tutorials just like this one. So I'm going to wrap it up for today. But guys, as always, I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you again next time.